If you've seen my past videos, you know that I've always complained about FL Studio automation, but now there's a much easier way to go in and manipulate your automation settings. So here I have a sample loop from my InFlight Music 2020 drum pack. So let's click this audio icon right here and go to automate and let's just select volume. I'm gonna drag this down so you guys can see what I'm doing. Click the automation icon on the top left right here. Go to articulation tools and go to create sequence. I'm just gonna hit accept here because there's no way to play the audio back while I'm in this window. So you'll have to remember to hit play before you go into this window. But let me just hit accept and let's take a listen. So I'm just gonna loop this section while we make some adjustments here and I'll point out a few tips to have an easier time to work with this. So right now, right off the bat, you could hear that there's a lot of swing on this. So we could straighten it out and make it more like a traditional side chain. You have this time multiplier tool, so we could extend this out to four bars if we wanted to. Change the attack. Flip it. Extend this decay time. Adjust this gate here. That creates complete silence. And I wanna show you guys a neat little trick because this isn't in the manual, but I saw them do this in the video. It took me a little while to figure it out, but it's exactly the same way that you do it in the piano roll. And in the piano roll, when you have, for example, hi-hat loops or a snare roll and you want it to ramp up, you could just click and drag like this. and adjust those as such, but that's a little tedious. It's kind of hard to get good control over it, but one thing you can do is just simply right click instead, and now you have a perfect balance of all of those. So here with left clicking, it's kind of sloppy. You'll see that it's kind of jagged there, but if you right click instead, you'll have a perfect balance here. So this would work really well for creating risers and different transition effects. I'm getting heavier and heavier into EDM, specifically Future Bass, so I'll definitely be using this tool a lot more in the future. You'll also notice that the pattern at the top here, you could link any of these sections together. So say for example, we wanna link the very end of this. This creates a ramp going into it. but double clicking will link it completely. The only thing that's bothering me about this feature is whenever I make an adjustment, I have to go through this entire loop all over again to listen to the changes. You see that it stays wherever the automation was when I made the change, it keeps that automation completely constant. See how the automation level isn't changing? but it will once it goes back around. So I don't have a workaround for that quite yet. Hopefully that's something that ImageLine does address and fix because that takes some patience and a lot of extra time away from you getting back to just manipulating the settings and doing exactly what you wanna do. So definitely props to them to adding this feature. I'm kind of thinking this feature was there before. Before when I was manipulating automation in FL Studio, I was using the event editor, but I definitely find this a lot more useful, but hopefully they do take care of that looping feature and maybe adding a playback button inside of the articulator so that we don't have to accept and exit out and hit play if we ever forget to hit play while we're making those changes. That'd be really helpful as well. So according to YouTube, the next video you should watch is here on your left. And if you like this video, you should definitely check out the video on your right as well. I make new videos every week, so remember to turn on notifications so that you are notified every time I drop a new video. Until then, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.